This begins a new chapter which concerns functions of random variables. Before we get started on it, a quick review of what has been covered so far. In chapter one, there was an introduction, and that introduction consisted of basically two topics, and that was counting techniques and set theory. In chapter two, probability was introduced, and the probability axioms were introduced along with their various spin-offs and things such as Bayes' rule or Bayes' law and such. In chapter three, random variables were introduced for the first time. And along with random variables comes probability mass functions, probability density functions, cumulative distribution functions, percentiles, expected values, etc. In chapter four, some of the popular discrete distributions that show up in practice such as the binomial and the geometric, negative geometric, Poisson, etc. The discrete distributions were surveyed in chapter 5 some of the continuous distributions such as the uniform, the normal, the exponential, the gamma were introduced and finally the previous chapter considered more than one variable at a time and that is joint distributions. So of course once again you have probability density functions, probability mass functions, but this time you have some different things such as covariance and correlation and marginal distributions and conditional distributions etc. Now this chapter, which is chapter 7, concerns functions of random variables. We actually started into a tiny bit of this in chapter 3, but now we're going to devote a, an entire chapter to this particular topic. One of the uh, giants in uh, mathematical statistics said that this chapter is the center of mathematical statistics. You have to get very, very good at finding functions of random variables in order to do statistics. So mastering this uh, chapter is a big deal. Here is the outline for this chapter. There are basically three different techniques that are done. This is section 7.1, section 7.2, and section 7.3. The first is the cumulative distribution function technique. This is the very same CDF technique that was introduced way back in chapter three, but this time we're going to go into it in a lot more detail. So first of all, for univariate random variables, we'll look at both discrete distributions and continuous distributions and how the CDF technique is used there. And then for multivariate distributions, we'll also cover the cases of discrete and continuous distributions. The second technique known as the transformation technique, that is the most general of the techniques. And just as was the case for the CDF technique, univariate distributions and multivariate distributions will be covered separately and within each of those discrete and continuous distributions will be covered. Finally, the third of the techniques is known as the moment generating function technique. And this particular, particular technique is used for sums and linear combinations. Of IID, that is mutually independent and identically distributed random variables. So the moment generating function technique is, uh, is somewhat restricted and it's only useful for sums and linear combinations. Not as general as the transformation technique, but in certain settings it can be quite useful. Here is the chap chapter theme. In the univariate case, we know the distribution of some random variable x and we want the distribution of y equals g of x. In the bivariate case, we know the joint distribution of x1 and x2. We want the distribution of y is equal to some function g of x1 and x2. 
In the multivariate case, we know the joint distribution of x1, x2, up to xn, and we want the distribution of y equals g of x1 up to xn. Now you'll notice in all cases we've got y equals g of some random variable or random variables. One thing that goes on in this chapter is when you see this over and over and over again, it'll seem like all the problems are exactly the same. In some ways they are, but in other ways they aren't. And so to kind of give a hint at where we are in the uh, outline on the previous slide, I've designed a roadmap, and I'll introduce that roadmap a little bit later, which helps you see where you are. Finally, one last thing on the three techniques for finding the distribution of capital Y, the random variable of interest here. The CDF technique goes from the CDF of X to the CDF of Y. That's why they call it the CDF technique. It goes from this CDF to that CDF. The transformation technique goes from lowercase f of X to lowercase f of Y. So a, a buddy of mine, Jim from Ohio, said that maybe this could be called the PDF technique because it goes from PDF to PDF. I stuck with transformation technique here because if the random variables are discrete, it'd be called the probability mass function technique. If they're continuous, it'd be called the PDF technique. And so since the transformation technique is a pro pretty popular name for it, I stuck with the transformation technique. But it certainly could be called the PMF or the PDF technique very easily. Finally, the moment generating function technique goes from the moment generating function of the individual observations to the moment generating function of their sum or of their linear combination. So this is a very well organized chapter. It won't seem quite as splintered as some of the other chapters, but the roadmap will help you get through and see at what point in the process we're at.